Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. This is the first of a series of videos I have planned on how to get awesome results from your 3D printer. Many people buy a 3D printer expecting it to be a plug and play experience. However, they soon discover that this is not the case and quickly become frustrated with prints warping, prints not sticking to the bed, and a myriad of other problems. So very often they decide it's not for them, which is great pity considering how useful these devices can be. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how to get successful results with ABS filament, preferably using a heated bed. Although this isn't strictly necessary, it does make life a whole lot easier, especially if you're wanting to make bigger things. One of the most important steps by far is to have a level print bed. Go into your printer's menu, select level heat bed, and follow the instructions. I'll go over the procedure just to help clarify what works for me. Place a sheet of paper on the build platform. ADGSM is usually about right and then run the leveling utility. The nozzle will move to several pre-programmed locations and ask for adjustments. As you can see, the paper is still able to move without dragging too much. You don't want it so tight as to be leaving deep score marks on the paper. Just have it so the paper is free, yet you can just feel a little resistance at all the points the printer selects. Also, if you wish, select jog mode and manually move the head around the bed to check positions that aren't covered by the alignment utility. Make sure your nozzle is clear, and there is no plastic protruding first, as this will knock your alignment off. When printing with ABS filament, ensuring your heat bed is at the correct temperature is critical. Too low, and your print will just not stick, and don't rely on what the printer says. I was having terrible problems with my prints not staying stuck to the build plate, and then I discovered my heat bed was only reaching 70C, when it was supposed to be 110. If you are unsure about what temperature yours is reaching, check with an infrared thermometer. They're really cheap, and I would suggest investing in one. In my case, it turned out that the mister on the underside of the heat bed, which detects what temperature it should be, was the wrong type. I don't know how it happened, but somehow the factory fitted a 50k thermistor when it should have been a 100k, so my temps were between 30 and 40 degrees off. Not a good start. Usually a temperature of 110 degrees C is perfect. ABS usually likes to be printed at a temperature of 230 C, and to be completely honest, that is the temperature I use for all my filaments. PLA, on the other hand, can be very fussy about what temperature works best. Kapton tape, applied to the bed, wet with Windex, or whatever brand window cleaner you have, works best for me. It helps if you wipe it down every few prints with acetone. Nothing else is needed. Start using glues or ABS dissolved in acetone and your prints will be almost impossible to remove from the build plate and will more than likely tear your expensive Kapton tape. Print the way I suggest and your prints will easily come free leaving a clean, reusable surface. If you're printing a small part or one with many small features that stick out like the fan blades I'm printing here or you have problems with the small parts warping and breaking free, then print a brim around the object, 5 or 6 deep and almost touching. It will just peel away after it's printed. I always make a point of printing with a brim or skirt now, as it pretty much guarantees a trouble-free print. If you're printing a part that requires bridging a fairly large gap, I suggest you print with a level height no less than 0.15 millimeters or 150 microns, although PLA is more suited to this task. I decided for this video not to cover printing ABS without a heated build plate, as the net is overflowing with information on that subject. I will, however, include information in a later video if this is requested enough in the comments. Future videos will cover many other parts of 3D printing, and the next video I have planned is how to get successful prints from PLA. Again, there is too much conflicting information on this subject, and it's my aim to collect all of it together into one set of easily understandable videos. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. This is my first proper video, so if you have any suggestions on how I can improve things or make things clearer, please leave a comment. I plan on covering many other subjects over future videos, including electronics, robotics, design, product testing, and reviews. Thanks for watching, and goodbye until next time.